seeing the image of two-year-old Island Curdie's dead body washed up on the beaches of Greece, I, like many others, was horrified that this could have and continues to happen. With increasing fear also being spread in the media about those labelled refugees, I felt more and more uncomfortable at our collective response to those fleeing wars and arriving here in the West. Refugee has become almost like a, a race. People describe it as a separate entity in itself. And actually what it is, it's a term to remind us of our duty to protect and to care for others. That's what that term's about. Travelling through Calais, Greece, Lebanon and here in the UK, I set out to witness for myself what we, humanity, are doing in response to the 20 million plus displaced by wars and depression. After witnessing the stories of refugees, volunteers, local citizens and experts, I returned to produce a documentary giving a voice to those fleeing their homelands in search of safety. Through this work, we showed the range of responses they've encountered and by sharing it, inspire others on how humanity has reached out to help. We are not politics, we have not religions, we are just human beings that help other human beings. I'm now looking to raise $30,000, that's £23,500, of which 72% will go to support those organisations that I met with on the ground. They're making a huge positive difference to the refugees. These initiatives bring shelter, sanitation, food, education, safe spaces for women, as well as children's services and much, much more to those who need it most. Having produced the first documentary through my own efforts, the remaining 28% of our campaign will support editing, post-production, including music, for Humanity's Heart's three other films. These films focus on life in the camps, becoming a lost generation and the importance of education, together with integration of refugees into communities. We'd love to educate as many people as possible on some of the most important lessons that we learned along the way in the crisis of our time.